Well, most pe people reckon they know how to recycle their household rubbish, but many of us are getting it wrong. Sustainability expert Lottie DL is here to take us through some recycling do's and don'ts. It's great to see you, Lottie. No, thanks for having me. Now, so you've, you've got a few items that some people throw out every day, and we are going to guess whether they go in the recycling or the rubbish bin. Yeah, that's right. So 10 to 15% of people actually get it wrong when it comes to <gasps> recycling. Really? So we'll see how you guys go with some common household items that I've got here. Oh, so, okay. first of all, nappies. Where do we think they go? Bin. The rubbish. Yep. yep. OK, well, that was an easy one. We started off oh, easy. So what about coffee cups? Ah, the plastic bit goes in the bin and the paper bit goes in recycling. No, you're no. actually incorrect. Yeah, oh. that's right. So oh. you have to do it the other way around. So this oh. top that's made of plastic can go into our recycling bin, oh. but the actual base itself is really tricky because it's paper, but in order so your coffee doesn't go all over, all over your hands, it's lined in plastic. So that goes into whoa, your whoa, red whoa, bin. Whoa, 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 back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, Lottie. Yeah. So, dive coffee, into the bin. <laughs> so coffee cup lids can be recycled? Yes, they can be oh. recycled. Everywhere, no matter what council area, that's yeah. universal? Exactly. So that's because a game they're big, changer. Yeah, so that's what we need to remember. So with all of the information today, it, as you mentioned, every different council recycles differently. So it is really difficult in Australia. Go to Recycling Near You online and then you can actually find out for your area how to recycle better. So next up, we're going to go for a bottle of Coke that's still got, or Pepsi, that's got some Pepsi left in it. Well, tip the Pepsi out. Exactly. So we need to remember that we don't actually have recycling fairies that kind of are going to do it for you. So tip the Pepsi out and then pop it into your and bin the, here. And the top has to, the lid has to stay off the bottle, is that right? So this another one it depends on your area when okay. it comes to it. So if you can screw it on and keep it nice and tight because it's made from the same material this one is, oh. it's fine. If it's a milk bottle top or kind of on those Tetra packs, then it gets a little bit confusing. So again, head to recycling near you. What about a pizza box? Oh, this okay. is, this is this controversial. Is, again, oh, yeah. I've been told that pizza boxes are no good because as soon as there's any grease on it or any food stuffs on it, they can't recycle it. And then I've since received other information that if you get that off, it's OK. Mm. So settle this once and for all. So what I would do is I'd actually split it down the middle. So the oh. greasy bit goes into your bin here and then your clean bit, this has got a tiny little bit of waste, that can go into your recycling huh. bin. So just kind of meet you, meet you halfway with that one. What about we couldn't break these ones for you guys today. If we've got broken crockery or glass, where would that go? Recycling. It's no, no. Re don't you recycle nope. broken stuff? can't recycle broken stuff. So oh. that one again, if it's anything's broken, it has to go into your into your normal bin, sorry. And then, yeah, everything else. What about single-use cutlery? Made of plastic, where are we going to pop it? Recycle? I think bin as well. If it's clean? Recycling. No, no, no. This one again has to go into our bin here. Yeah. It's too small for our recycling facilities to actually handle because we don't have those fairies that are just going to go through and pick up the tiny little pieces. Oh. So we need to pop it into this bin. Generally speaking, we need things to be bigger than a business card in order for them to go into your recycling bin. But with these, if you kind of were to fold these down or whatever, they wouldn't actually amount to the size of a business card. So they need to go into this bin here. Huh. Wow. And then what about these envelopes that have got a little plastic window? You have to take the plastic out. No, really? You don't. <gasps> what? So you can just pop these straight into there because we can actually, with our recycling facilities, we can handle a little bit of plastic like this and it'll be actually OK. So that one can go straight into our recycling. Lottie, can I ask, does the same apply to tissue boxes that have that little bit of plastic yeah. in the, yeah. the top? Yeah, that's the, I... the same applies to those as well. So we can do a little bit of, it's called mingled waste. So we can actually put that into our recycling and it will be fine. But you need to remember as well, what we want to do is we want to make it as easy as possible. So if you are taking the plastic off, you're not doing it wrong. You're actually making it easier for people at the other end or the factories okay. at the other end of the line. But don't sweat if you actually have been putting in your tissue boxes or into your in your um, envelopes into your recycling bin today. Mm. Now, the last thing I want to ask you guys is I've got all of my recycling into this bag. Where should I pop it all? 
into the empty, the, the, empty the bag, but not the plastic bag. Yeah. Don't put the plastic Gosh, bag in there. You're my hero. I'm, I'm OCD oh, about this. Doing I'm, it so I, I once well. filled up my car full of recycling to take it to my old house because I missed the recycling day at the, the house I moved into. How long ago <laughs> was that, Joe? Um, well, it was a few years ago and I'm still talking about it, but it was a big day. Yeah, very, very car proud. Still smells. What, what about a dog can with paper around it? Uh, sorry, a what? A, a dog food can with the with the uh, paper. You yeah, know, the paper label. So that can just go straight into here. The whole thing. In, a, a, a tin can goes in the gr the yellow bin. Okay, Lottie, I need to know this, Lottie. What about um, margarine or butter tubs? Plastic margarine or butter yep, tubs? Yeah, pop them straight into here. Do you have what? to wash them out first? So with washing, just give everything a little bit of a rinse. Okay. We don't need it to be spick and span, but just, yeah, give it a bit of a rinse. Again, we're making it easier for everybody at those recycles. And about what about one of Joe Hildebrand's columns? Where would that go? <laughs> That's already recycled. <laughs> oh, recycled, OK. <laughs> What about strawberry? What? Oh, no, I'm, I'm obsessed one. with this. This is the moment I've been oh, waiting for my whole gosh, life. What about <laughs> strawberry website. punnets? Strawberry punnets, again, pop them into your recycling bin there. So when it comes to kind of those things that you're not really sure about, give them a bit of a scrunch. If they pop back into their shape, generally speaking, they can go into the recycling oh, bin. Okay. If they don't pop into, back into their shape, so things like chip packets or um, a bit of, I don't know, like your biscuit tin um, holder things. Yeah, yep. those holder things. If they don't pop back into their shape, then they need to be soft plastic recycled. So the oh. way that we do this is you collect everything in a bag that's not filled with recycling, but filled with kind of bits of plastic like this and take it to the front of your local Coles or Woolworths store and then they can be recycled there. So this is called soft plastic recycling. You can go to the Red Cycle website and they've got a whole list of absolutely everything that you can soft plastic recycle. You are wow. so clever. Really wow. good information. You can check out uh, Lottie's sustainable workbook and jump on to banish.com.au. Lottie, thanks so much. No, thanks, thanks for having me. Thanks, Lottie.